the internet computer. The best way to think about the internet computer is probably a decentralized AWS. When I say AWS, I mean Amazon Web Services. And if you don't know what that means, basically Amazon has a big section of their company that is devoted to hosting websites and hosting compute resources for websites. Any major company is likely going to have tons of hosting on AWS or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure. And these are all centralized hosting companies, meaning there's a single corporate entity that is controlling the hosting services. For example, Parler. Parler was a website doing some controversial things. They were on AWS hosting all their stuff on Amazon Web Services. And AWS decided they didn't really like what Parler was doing, so they just kicked them off and made them find other hosting services. A lot of people didn't like that. Who is AWS to decide, you know, who gets to have hosting services and who doesn't? One of the benefits of something like the internet computer as a decentralized hosting provider is the community decides what should be taken down or what should stay up rather than a central corporate entity. This decentralized nature is what one of the big strengths of the internet computer. There are also security benefits. If you talk to anyone that manages an AWS instance, there are basically a million different parameters and permissions and configurations. All of this is abstracted away on the internet computer and you get really clean, strong security. So you have really secure front ends, really secure back ends. Internet computers built on something called WebAssembly. You get all the properties of essentially the engine of the web, but in a blockchain environment. For all of those reasons, internet computer is a really nice, decentralized, secure form of web hosting and compute. Dominic Williams, who's the founder of the Definity Foundation, talks about the internet computer as a blockchain singularity, that everything eventually will be rewritten on smart contracts on the blockchain, because we already talked about the decentralization and security benefits. Blockchain singularity, the reason that we're going to see something like this, the reason why everything will be rewritten in blockchain form with smart contracts is that you have certain affordances to a blockchain-based environment that you don't get in traditional web hosting. You have default interoperable standards related to NFTs or to fungible tokens or to decentralization or something called a DAO or a decentralized autonomous organization. And because of these kind of innate technical affordances, you can solve problems in new and interesting ways that you couldn't achieve on more centralized kind of web two infrastructure. Tonic Labs is built entirely on the internet computer right now. And you can think of Tonic Labs as developer tooling for people wanting to use NFTs on the blockchain. So an NFT is a non-fungible token. They're getting quite popular. Uh, I think Disney's released some Mickey Mouse NFTs. We've seen some big media personas do some NFTs. We've seen NFTs for movies getting kind of a little bit more mainstream. Tonic Labs has the belief that everything is an NFT, essentially. Anything digital, an image could be an NFT, a website could be an NFT, online business could be an NFT, a video could be an NFT, 3D avatar could be an NFT. I mean, basically anything can be an NFT. You need technical tooling to make all of this happen, and Tonic Labs kind of has this foundational developer tooling layer to help you mint NFTs and to help you sell NFTs on a marketplace and to help you interact with NFTs in a game environment or in a business environment or something like that.